let's live our own life but fit in the society in some form or the other because we are part of the society. I want to talk about my personal history and see if it can communicate to you. Um, just yesterday I was feeling a little tint of unhappy feeling and then I studied why and that's the feeling of feeling miserable <laughs> I didn't get there but there's a sign of it and then it went away maybe due to the samadhi the meditation or the skills but if I go back why I have or you may have a feeling of elating or miserable or proud of or you know all the emotional things I realize and maybe you should too or you may have already figured out that uh, it all depends on what kind of experience we have when we grow up when we are child days or after the birth and the parents friends and all the surroundings so actually there's a story of uh, kids in India who was um, raised by wolves and of course they couldn't fit to the society, died young. For most of us, we have some parents or parent in some circumstance that we acquire what word to use, the rules, and what's supposed to be good or bad because that's what your parents may try to share with you. And my understanding is that for human to develop that neural network to live in the society it takes five years seven years 17 years 20 years depending upon to what degree but it's at the beginning it's like a computer with no software then we plug in the information and by experiencing it for example me looking at my father be happy or unhappy my mother and between them what they go through, I absorb those and if there's nothing else, because that's the beginning, that's all there is. So from that you capture the information within our mind and body and learn the language, how they use it. And my father being happy or angry, my mother sad or happy, whatever. That plugs into and then our encounter with other kids playing and happy, unhappy, crying, <laughs> upset, toys broken. Each of those influence us like a software. Or the memories, the event, and how people deal with are all put into our brain. It's like an AI collecting all the information so that they can make a good judgment. Come back to you with chat GPT. You ask the question, they respond. In that case, their information is much wider than individual. And it's also to a different level because they only capture the words that they can access and perhaps some images you know, these days so that there's some limitation you know, compared to our experience of down deep how we experience. But in principle, it's getting similar and better so that the, the AI can have a huge individual information put together to process it, to come up with the right judgment, to say, if you have this question, this will be the answer, you know, that kind of stuff. And more and more we depend on it. It will be helpful in my view, but it's a tricky situation. But back to my own or your own growth, without the AI, you are doing the same thing. Capturing the information, looking at good and bad, happy and happy. And if your father was a thief or murderer, and you know you don't want to think like that, but also making money and happy, or winning the lottery, whatever they have, or buying the house, that experience and their smile the psychological response and you're observing them 
is going to sink into you without your knowing. And then you learn the language, what language, how to use it, and how people may respond. And you may learn how to play piano, violin, or paint, or mathematical, or physics, or invention, or traveling. All the experience that is surrounding you would have a fairly big impact. So what does that mean to, at the old age, when you face certain experience and then the reaction happen according to whatever has been programmed inside of you without your knowing. You, you, you know you exist in your mind and this, let's say, hypothetical you, because it's kind of like a impermanent state of you. Because it just depends on what kind of information you got, the habit developed, and the judgment you made, and the emotional response and all that had. It's representing in your action for anything that happens in your life. Like I said yesterday, I've had this little thing, funny information, and then, ah, that's interesting. Instead of caught up in it, I was looking as if it's someone else's story. So there's a blip of information and emotional response. And I thought, oh, that's interesting because I must have had some people responding in a certain way. And that may have influenced me to respond. But having gone through meditation and Zen and spiritual stuff, I'm detached. I'm in the empty space. It may sound funny, but you are not caught up in the mind. That's what I say. Listen to the heart and look at the situation. And this may sound so funny because if you say I'm detached, you think I may be like uh, inhuman, no emotion. I would say it's not that. It's just the awareness of what's going on as it is that is happening. So the emotion ups down my emotion in my mind and the past memory is triggering that. I see that as if I'm the third person looking at me and thinking, oh, why do you do that? Ah, you may have had, or in my case, in that case, me, I may have had the experience related to that, like making money or losing money or relationship issue. So all that is put together just like an AI. You have the question, the state of something, and there's a reaction to it. Sometimes it's very immediate or sometimes more deep, but you don't know. It's not easy to see how you respond to any uh, situation in life. <laughs> but if you're empty, I don't know if that's the word I should use, but nothingness, if you are just observing without any judgment, that's samadhi, no self, no mind, then you see the reaction of me, or mini-me, it's a part of me responding to this thought, but I'm looking at it and thinking, oh, I'm responding? But I can tell they have related to this kind of things in the past. And that doesn't make sense if I just react to a situation without understanding the context of it. You know, it's a long word to say how to respond. But it's kind of like that to snapshot. You can be just reactive or you can be calm and quiet to make a good judgment. That's what I've been talking about in the videos with samadhi and nothingness, even the word Namo Amida Mutsu, not me, but let the Amida or the Buddha or the nature's way to resolve the situation so that you can make a good judgment. It's a very subtle and difficult point to communicate because typically when we are born and raised, learn the language and the logic of the society and how people respond, you get 
absorb being those and you become you. <laughs> At the beginning, you, you had nothing. You had no thinking, no individuality, no language. That was the beginning. But as much as you have developed those habitual patterns and what's right and wrong, according to what the society is pointing, which could be wrong. That's the scary thing. But the point of awakening is to respond not abruptly or reactionally, but just observe things as they are, as it is. There's a movement in my mind, a thought, and you're just looking. And if you don't do anything, it just go away. That's meditation. Or you may find, like in this case, ah, that's a funny, miserable feeling I used to have if I get caught up and, okay, lost money, uh, bad relationship, <laughs> all the bad things start to crawl up and jump onto it and then get into this monkey mind state of oh this happened by the way that happens why is it so why why cannot get out of it i have this image of the cage and the bird in the cage and this jump around that's the mind the cage is the mind in fact the cage has the window and it's open so you don't have to be as a bird you know bouncing around in there but all the Framework and so forth is developed over time from your childhood and your experience with others. And if you have a good references, it may be a helpful thing to process it. But without that, typically, we don't realize who we are. That's why thy no self is important and thy society, your living condition, and how that influences you. But you are the protagonist, main character. So you don't have this detached sense. And therefore, you play the game. Awakening is to realize there's an opening in the cage and you can get out and see as if you're watching your, yourself, a bird, jumping around. Millions of why oh, I'm like this, and by the way, that happened, and I know that, 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 that. Easy to say, as if commentator giving some story, but if you are the bird, if you are the one with a painful experience in the past, and something is triggering that painful experience, even if that's not real, because it's just your mind creation, if you're looking that scene from outside, well, I'm feeling sorry for him. That's the compassion. The compassion that we have that tendency not getting out of it with wisdom, out of the box. So let me stop here because I don't mean to lecture or anything. I'm just reflecting of that small incident. But I thought it's important because at least in my case, well, you know, I may be miserable again. <laughs> but in that instance, and I haven't had the miserable sense, not, not much. I couldn't catch a big fish yesterday while I was spearfishing. But it was not important. It was a good sized fish. just the way it is. Realize the situation as is, not to go beyond and start to play with it and cook some kind of a idea that you may feel unhappy about. So the sadness, uh, the suffering that human may have is very much related to such an experience, in my view. And uh, 
if it's unnecessary, as much as I see it's possibly very unnecessary, and for us to grow and be awakened and respond to the need and make a good judgment. Let's find out. If you understand what I shared theoretically or conceptually, that's one. Of course, you can reject that. But if you don't reject, and look into how you behave and why, then you may understand why I'm spending so many videos this year. So that for myself to the evolving and for us as a society to develop forward looking instead of caught up in the past and dwell on it for the ego reason I didn't talk about the ego how we develop but that's basically what happens from the younger days and this non-ego or non-duality nobody can teach unless we understand or see it by ourselves so that's the whole point of me processing this and hoping to share for us to be happy for all beings to be happy thank you